Hey everyone, Ormac here, for some Dwarf Fortress. By popular demand, you all have asked me to play Adventure Mode. It's going to end very quickly and very violently and very pathetically. I'll have you know. About the only thing I've accomplished recently is learning how to evade bogeymen. I haven't really messed with Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode in a long time. Oh man, those bogeymen are really nasty though. But, if you have a buddy with you, you're fine. Even if he's just some schmuck. That's totally okay. Also, we're going to pause while it updates the world, because this takes a bit the first time. See you in a sec. Alright, here's the world I generated up with the most recent version of Dwarf Fortress. Uh, apparently I'm resizing the window. Or relocating it. Can we just... There we go. <laughs> We're probably going to be a human. Or an elf. As gross as elves are, their agility and speed would be a boon at evading getting clobbered. Big sieve. I like to start with a small one so they're not s swamped by uh, hamlets. These guys look like they'll work. It's probably really cold down there though, so I'm probably not going to find easy sources of water. I could always head north though. Anyway, we're going to be a hero, human, dude. Oh, right. I have to use these keys now. High agility. Creativity is pointless. Musicality is pointless. Lower. Those things. We want more willpower. We want more of that. Kinestic sense that's used for combat. Toughness endurance. And then improve my memory so I can remember where I've been. After that, I think we will just go with the swords. They're pretty, uh, common. Let's go with a proficient swordsman. I want at least one rank in swimmer and observer. Two in tracker, dodger, and competent fighter. That leaves me with enough to get another rank and dodge. Definitely did not use a danger room to uh, increase my stats. <laughs> Otherwise I would have much more dodge. That'll do. Let's get a name, shall we? For this person that's going to die very quickly. Boulder Feast. Bronze Flicker. Traded Riddles. Spattered Romance. Sounds like a trashy romance novel. Shield Prairie. Frilly Velvet. Point Wire. Freckle Polish. Climb. No, let's not even say that one. Tuft Crushed. Heather Listened. Inns Moral. Mead Scrapes. Match. Long Wilt, ew. Whisker Charm. Roasted Growth Grasp Channels. Ace Work. Sure, Ace Work. Let's do that and enter our name. Ormac Ace Work. I'm totally dead. Got your equipment together, such as it is. Time for action and adventure. In the rush of excitement, you've forgotten where you're. You were going to go. Perhaps some of your friends here can remind you. Press that for help. T 
take one step to be talked to by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people. Okay, that's me. Ooh, a lawgiver. Sometimes these uh, human sieves are interesting. that uh, they get non-humans in charge like uh, demons. Longgiver decides to spit. Spitting at the X-Men for some reason. Extremely rude. Let's talk to this uh, Longgiver. Hi. I hate you. Okay. What about you? Good to see you. Long live the cause. Is this person human? They're kind of hostile. They're human. They're just really agitated. Let's continue talking. I like the new conversation system. Um, well, I am a hearth person. What's going down? Vigilant. Okay, nothing going down. Okay, any trouble then? Beasts, criminals, bandits, and skulking vermin. Let's talk about the vermin. That sounds like something that I can handle. Pestered by skulking villains. They have a hamlet called a Lime Charm somewhere in the prairies of Scaling. Directions to Lime Chars? Detailed description. So, it's a ruined town. Okay. Lime charms. Huh. Let's talk to him. He just said hi. Hey, how you doing? Hmm. Hunt Barari glowing parched the furnace of treasure the dragon. I don't think so. We're just gonna head on to Lime Charms. But it was inevitable. Let's change the subject. Uh. Would you like to follow me? Hey, what is this place? This is the Dangerous Principle. And then some history. Back in 29, that person ruled the Dangerous Principle. Well, we're in the year 117, I think it is. You wanna join me on adventures? Sweet, we got a mace dwarf. Lead me to glory and death. Let's shout to everyone. Hi. Let's see if I can get uh, this axeman to come with me too. Can't talk to him. Oh, there we go. Dissuade me from foolishness. Uh, 
Uh, would you like to join me? Glory and death. All right, we got a mace dwarf and an axeman, and we're a swordsman. We don't have armor, but we do have a sword and an iron shield. Better than nothing. Now, lime charms. Uh, Axemen, no. I'm having a hard time talking to somebody. Hey, deity. Raining out here. At least it's not evil rain. Hi? Why is he so hateful? Uh, can I ask you, uh, to guide me to Lime Charms? There's that other quest I got, but Lime Charms is somewhere in here. There. You would have all of the glory. Okay, maybe I should ask one of my followers to lead me to uh, Lime Charms. I don't know anything about that. I want you to take me to Lime Charms. Aren't you in my party, though? Also, what kind of ground is this? Okay. I am tempted to stab that guy for being such a jerk. Ooh, sterling silver statue of forgotten beasts. Not a good one, though. Still, this is a pretty nice place. It's very small. This must be like their, uh main castle, I guess. I wish I could, uh, actually get, uh, there, toggle Okay, it's south southwest. All right, we can probably make it there. It's over here. A town that was destroyed by a beast uh, at one point. So somewhere in this town, there is a group of bandit, uh, vermin, verminous bandits, and my followers are still trying to give me quests. Oh, he shouted! Oh. 
Where did you guys go? I think is uh, what he's saying. Uh, I'm glad you've got objectives. Right now, I'm just hunting for bandits. Oh! What the heck? A barn owl. I don't think that's my target. No, it's not hostile. Let's start a new conversation with the barn owl. Hi. How you doing? Ooh. Kobold! I don't think kobolds can talk. Oh, my X-Men has a word he'd like to share with that kobold, and it starts with uh, chop. Where'd he go? Did you kill him? Eh, it looks like he just booked it. This way? I'm tracking him. The kobolds are probably my target. They usually run in bandit groups. So, despite the fact that I kind of like kobolds, we're going to go out of our way to kill them. They're most likely not going to prove to be much of a challenge. I don't think I want to fight a hill titan. If it's all the same to you. I mean, in the future, that would be stellar. Maybe when I have something better than a bronze sword and no armor. Oh, that was turning on stealth. Strap your weapons to your back. Okay, we've got a generic kobold, a kobold surgeon, a kobold hunter, a kobold, and a kobold hunter. We are going to attack this generic kobold. Yep, chop. We're going to strike. Tricky strikes. Ooh, a normal strike in the neck. The slash! Attack that kobold. Don't let it get away. Chop off its foot. Bam. No quarter with that kobold hunter. Uh, go for his head. Chop. I punched a kobold hunter with my right hand, and the injured part explodes in gore. Eh. Yeah. Whoa. Ooh, bronze morning star lodging in the wound. Man, and kobolds are fast. Look at that guy book it. Oh, I'm on the ground, that's why. I must have dodged and fell. I'm not a great dodger. And I'm not sure I want to go all over creation hunting these guys, but I can chase this guy that I chopped the ar arm off of. He's bleeding, so he's pretty easy to follow. Did he lose something else? His right hand. Is that cobalt blood, or is that just loam? Furrowed fire clay. 